What's going on guys, welcome back to another beer review. Today we are reviewing this Honeycomb Pale Ale, um, which is by Seven Brothers Brewery, um, who are a microbrewery in uh, Salford in the UK. Um, so uh, just with, just getting into this beer, um, it's just called Honeycomb Pale Ale. Um, picked it up in uh, again, one, of my, one of my local supermarkets, so it's a, uh, an easy to, to grab one. Um, it kind of intrigued me because it's looking like more of a sweet beer. Um, and hopefully nothing too sort of sour about it. Sometimes sweet beers um, tend, to, tend to actually be sours and that kind of thing, more like fruit beers. Um, but this one is kind of designed to, to be, you know, it tastes very like honeycomb. Um, even Seven Brothers state that um, uh, that it's their sweetest beer yet. Um, so yeah, we're looking for a nice sweet one. Seven Brothers is quite cool. They've got like a seven where the T should be on, uh, in the word brothers. Which is quite cool. Um, uh, what I do is I read it out on the back. It's quite a low percentage one, um, especially for a tall boy. It's four uh, percent, so we're looking at just under two UK units for the whole can, the four forty ml here. Um, they say meet our sweetest beer, a perfectly balanced pale ale with carefully selected hops, infused with the essence of honeycomb, creating this extremely Moorish unique pale ale. So I haven't seen any mention of what the hops are. I'm guessing it's more like the infusion with honeycomb that make, gives it the flavour. And really the hops would just be to create pale ale and that's that's my my guess um, i won't lie like the, the can does, does kind of smell a little bit honey you might maybe it maybe one exploded um nearby or something in the shop that i was in and i got this um but yeah so it's pretty cool we've got a nice um uh front cover as well with these kind of little um little pictures of, of uh sort of vectors of bees really um it's quite cool quite fun um, apparently, according to the front, it's sweet, moorish, and tasty. But like I say, a little bit of a lower percentage one if you want to keep your head clear for the next day. So I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think it's worth cracking into it and giving it a try. I've not really had um, put many infused beers. Um, I have had maybe one or two honey beers, but they're kind of more like uh, old English ales um, that are honey. So it's quite nice to try one in a can. As you, you might guys might have seen that sprayed a bit. So I feel like it's probably going to be quite a foamy one. In terms of smell, it doesn't necessarily smell like honey, but it does smell sweet. Um, it does smell sweet. It's really foaming at the top there, if you guys can see that. Maybe get a white t-shirt better. A black t-shirt, but let's start giving it a pour. Looks like it's going to be quite a light, uh, a light ale. Expected given that it's a pale ale. Um, but yeah, kind of like a nice... Um, Nice light yellow, not quite making it into the orange mark, I would say. Really, really thin, really thin, really like a, well, I suppose, like an ale or like a lager even. Um, can see everything through that, through that. Um, so I guess the kind of body and the flavour and that kind of thing, as mentioned on here, uh, on the can, will just come from the honeycomb infusion, as I said. I thought the actual sort of base and body of the beer um, was just designed to be a pale ale, um, as they've stated on the back. So. Um, just let the head go down just a tiny bit. We, I don't think I'll need to time lapse it or anything. Um, I think it's, it's dissipating quite well. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll just let that head go down a tiny bit. Um, definitely unique for sure, but look how quickly that head's gone down. Um, I haven't had to speed up the footage whatsoever, it's only been sort of a matter of a few seconds, so I think it's worth getting into this one and giving it a try. More sips. Okay. It's fairly unique, I would say. Um, really is quite sweet. Um, and you can taste, what's really interesting is kind of like a few levels of sweetness. It kind of tastes um, really, really like honey. Um, after you take the first sip, this first sip is um, when you're actually sipping the, the, the beer. Um, it just uh, it kind of is just like a sweet a sweet ale really, um, but it kind of clings really nicely on my tongue like it gets uh, sweeter uh, once the sips over which is um, quite unique it's quite interesting I don't know if I could have a lot of these to be honest I feel like it might very quickly get quite sicky um, but I think there's a it's a nice novelty it's quite a quite an interesting one 
um, and yeah, I can definitely taste the honey and, and uh, an infusion of honeycomb for sure. I felt like it's kind of hit the mark there, um, and there's not really more that um, you can really complain about if it's, you know, if it's giving you what you're expecting. Um, I will give it a few more sips before I give it the rating, um, obviously. Um, but yeah, so it's fairly enjoyable. Um, I myself, I'm not, I've not got the biggest sweet sweet tooth in general, so like I said, I don't think that I could, you know, have pint after pint of this, um, not at all, but I think it's um, quite a, you know, a sweet idea, literally, um, and, and just quite a nice novelty um, for a beer. Um, so yeah, we'll give it a few more sips. Uh, this is growing on me the more I sip it as well, which is quite interesting. Um, it's kind of hard to explain because um, if I was thinking of trying to explain like a, a sweeter beer to someone, you perhaps might picture a cider. Um, it's not like a cider at all, definitely not, but it's just like perhaps if you just, I don't know, ate, ate something honeycomb and then had a sip of um, quite a sort of standard pale ale, maybe that's the sort of flavour combination you get. I would definitely recommend um, if you can get your hands on this, um, giving it a try. Um, if you don't like sweet beers, don't, because it obviously is, as it says on the, on the can, it is, it is quite sweet. Um, but it's definitely um, a unique flavour, and I feel like it's kind of something that someone probably needs to try at least once. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely unique. Um, something I would have again, but um, not a lot of, um, really, is, um, is how I put this one. But yeah, definitely get the honeycomb, and as I said, there's a few different um, kind of levels of the honey coming through. Let's say when you sip it, you get it, but afterwards it kind of coats your tongue um, a little bit more and you get more of that honeycomb flavour after the sip is over. So yeah, a really, really unique one and I think a, a nice idea certainly. So um, I'm going to give this one, as I say, not really much of a sweet tooth, um, but I like the idea behind this one. So I'm going to give it 3.75. Not perfect by any means, um, uh, but uh, a really nice idea. And also it's nice that it's not too high of a percentage. Um, either so yeah, I'm enjoy I've enjoyed this one. I'm enjoying the uh, really enjoying the sort of idea behind it. Um, so yeah, that's definitely definitely added up the points a little bit more. Um, so if you guys uh, enjoyed this review, if you guys have had this one before, um, and I want to know really what you guys thought of it. Some people probably don't like the honeycomb at all. I, I can imagine even buying it and expecting it to be sweet might be too sweet for some people. Um, but I think it's uh, quite enjoyable and uh, just a a fun nice idea. Suitable for vegans too if I didn't mention that already. Um, anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this one, if you did give give the video a like it all helps. Um, give me a subscribe if you want to see more videos, um, have a look at some playlists etc etc and um, as always guys I will see you in the next video. Peace! <laughs>